Should people be allowed to safely inject heroin in the open under the supervision of trained medical staff? Hundreds of people in Vancouver have been doing so daily since 2003. Now American cities and states are considering adopting the model as a way to stop overdose deaths. Assembly member Valerie Venary Huddle has introduced a bill to open safe injection sites here. She recently sat down with chief political correspondent Michael Aaron to discuss the controversial plan. What these overdose prevention centers in my bill, they're, they're, they're actually safe or they're uh, safe injection sites. Uh, we don't have any right now in New Jersey. But if you look at the numbers, the staggering numbers of people who die from overdose today, I think it's a leading cause of accidental death in the world. And in New Jersey alone, you have eight people that die every day in the shadows, in the alleyways. It's swept under the carpet. These injection sites, people would be able to go to, clean syringes, medical people on staff. If there is an overdose, they would have the Narcan available. Out of all of these 120 sites that they have around the world, there hasn't been one fatality of an overdose because they get to that person in time. If you listen, addiction is a disease. This may be a radical thinking, but we have to do something because we're not doing anything right now to stop someone from dying of an overdose. And you know, I, I bring up the fact that I'm a funeral director and I see firsthand more and more today young young kids dying of overdoses. And where are they dying? They're dying in the alleyways, they're dying in their cars, they're dying in their bedrooms. If they can go to a site where they have medically trained professionals and counseling, there may be, we may be, we will be saving lives. They may go in, they may be, they may be ready to, to, to inject a, a drug, but they may be counseled and may be saved. This is another culture changing uh, area where it seems like it's getting wider acceptance. Look at the controversy years ago, uh, right here, with the Clean Needle Exchange. Remember that? Yeah. And yeah. that was a big, radical move, right? And then Chris Christie even embraced the concept, and right. that gave it a bit of a boost. And this is going a step further. This is helping people addicted to heroin. They're, they go into a facility. They have facilities in Vancouver that I'm actually going to go visit. They go into the facility. They're Again, professionals there to help counsel them. And if they do, God forbid, overdose, they have the medical treatment necessary so that prevent, prevents deaths. Out of 120 sites, not one overdose death. So why hasn't your bill gotten a hearing yet? It, well, I have uh, uh, many sponsors that have signed on, and I'm waiting for it to get posted in the health committee. All right. Assemblywoman Valerie Veneri-Heidel, thanks okay. very much for coming Thank in. Thank you.